What's going on, guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to kind of cover the state of the market with double masters, what's going on with the singles, and maybe what we can expect in the next couple of days here. Um, another thing I'm just going to touch on really quick is that uh, the TCG player sale, which is coming up on Friday, because I do feel like that's going to impact the prices, at least in the short term, and what we can expect to see in the next uh, few days here. Although I cannot predict the future, and this isn't any advice of whether someone should FOMO and grab boxes or anything like that. Uh, of course, I am going to give myself that little shout out. I do stream on whatnot four to five days a week, guys. Um, if you use the link down below, you're going to get a free $10, and you can use that to just grab a $10 uh, single or pack or something within that range and use the remainder on something else um, but i hope to see you guys there and i also have a link down for the patreon down below a lot of great streamers on there a lot of people running singles vintage magic um, older magic uh, newer magic all types of stuff and if you're not into magic there actually is a uh, there are a bunch of tcgs on there not just magic there's pokemon uh digimon Yu Gi Oh, weiss uh, flesh and blood um and like uh, for example channel fireball streams on there four to five uh, days a week as well. So you can catch a lot of great streamers on there. Now that the intro is all over, let's talk about what's going on with Double Masters here. So currently it seems like the, the singles market has sort of bottomed out. That seemed to have occurred probably about like, I would say two to three days ago from what I've seen. Obviously some cards didn't really even see a bottom. I One card in particular that I tracked just because I had seen how little I had pulled out of 32 collector boxes was the Mana Vault in, uh, or Mana Vault in the borderless foil treatment i pulled one out of 32 boxes and that card never ever really uh changed in price it basically entered the market at around a hundred dollars and it just continued to climb from there i think currently sitting around somewhere around 160 um in that range but the borderless non-foil version has actually seen a steady decline surprisingly um I said Mana Vault, right? I didn't say Mana Crypt. Uh, but yeah, so the Mana Vault. But everything else as well has uh, pretty much bottomed. Especially a lot of the cheaper borderless foil cards have seen a bottom. Like Lightning Bolt, um, I, Grim Flare, which was one of the hits in the back of a collector box, also saw a bottom. It had gotten as cheap as uh, $2 at one point. I was seeing them being sold on TCG Player, and it has started to climb. Now, where the box prices are sitting, uh, currently I think there's a giant listing of these at like $2.90 from a store on TCG player at 288 and there's about 83 sold today. So the volume is there to stay on pace for what it's been selling, uh, what have been sold in the past few days. Um, and I'm sorry for repeating myself here, but a little bit timid the first couple times in, the, in front of the camera here. But yeah, so we're on pace to actually continue the same amount of volume we did in the previous day. Yesterday, I've been tracking the volume as well. Uh, we saw about 183 boxes sold on for the collectors on TCG player. So we're right on pace today to continue that same amount of uh, sales for the day. And the reason I mentioned earlier that that TCG player um, sale is going on on Friday is that I expect that to actually increase the volume of sales as well because TCG player as a seller also messages um, all the sellers and they let them know that typically they see anywhere between like a 20 to 30% increase in sales on that day just because customers are getting at a minimum 10% back and Friday's sale will impact everything from singles to the sealed product. So. I can imagine on Double Masters, we're going to really see an uptick come Friday on the sales. Now, if there isn't the inventory available to keep up with that demand that's going to come on Friday, then we could see an increase throughout the weekend on these box prices. Draft boxes are sitting somewhere around like 360 um, to 370 right now. So it'll be interesting to see where those go as well come into the weekend. Although the the volume of draft is actually not as high as the volume of collector being sold on TCG Player. Um, but yeah, those were basically like everything I wanted to cover with that. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I know a lot of people stretch for that 10 minutes, but yeah, uh, basically it, uh, keep in mind there is that 10% sale going on on Friday. And if you have been a pro member for over three months, you are going to get that additional 3% and then you factor in your credit card. You're looking at like 15% back on a box on Friday. So, you know, say, say 300 bucks after everything, you don't get that uh, that money back on tax, unfortunately. But say the boxes hit 300, you're looking at like almost $50 back on a collector box between that 15% when you factor your credit card and the money back from TCG Player. Another thing to note is that sale will not impact case pricing because case pricing, that TCG Player sale only impacts the first $500 of a single item. So a case is typically well over $500. So you, you know, say a case at $300 a box, um, you know, and a case has eight of those in there, you're looking at $2,400. Uh, 
and 1900 of that is not going to get the 10% applied to it. Um, I know because I previously bought a case of VIP and I did not get the full 10% back on that, but I did so because the deal was better on the VIP um, in that case. But if you can get better deals on the case and you can factor in that 10%, do look for that if that's something someone is looking for, if they want to hold a case for the long term. Um, with that all said, though, I personally believe my thoughts now are that we will see a steady climb throughout the weekend. Prices are going to begin to probably stabilize, I would say, a week after this sale. It really kind of sucks that this sale is coming in at a time when um, some people may be looking to pick up boxes because it's just going to accelerate the amount of boxes being sold on the market, especially because we've really seen no downturn in the amount of volume. There's been uh, no decrease in that volume. And in fact, it actually seemed to have accelerated in the morning today. Um, and we'll see if it stabilizes throughout the day. Uh, I think it's around like six o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. So we're looking at roughly now we have like another three hours left on the East Coast and that will close out the daily sales. So we'll see if we close out with another 180 something boxes sold for the day. But anyways, with that, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know where you think the singles are going. And uh, if you think like the foil etched, I know a lot of people are um, kind of uh, specking on those foil etched cards just because they only come out of the collector's box. But if you think the foil etched are the cards to go after. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know. If you guys did or didn't enjoy this video, I also would love to hear in the comments down below. I always look to try and improve my videos as I continue to grow here on YouTube. And I appreciate all the support from the patrons as well as the subscribers. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, comment down below. And make sure to use that $10 because if anything, guys, you can grab like a free Oracle of Moldiah or something like that on uh, whatnot. So I hope to see you guys there and I'll talk to you later.